Modern Warfare 2 is here and it's currently the hottest game out right now. But how accessible is it? How good is this game for low vision? Well, right out of the box, not so much. <laughs> but this does happen to be the most accessible and customizable Modern Warfare ever released. So there are some settings we can tweak to make this game easier to play with low vision. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. First things first, we're gonna jump into the settings. And what's really nice is this time we have a search bar in our settings. So if there's a certain setting that you're looking for and you can't find it, you can search for it. Right away here at the top right though, you see accessibility. We can press Y to jump right into accessibility. That's pretty awesome. Now, keep in mind, I'm doing this on the Xbox. So you may have to alter some of these options for where you're playing the game. Next, we have audio visual support. When we toggle that on, you see that the menu got a little bit bigger and we can go in and further customize some of these options. We'll do that here in a second. Next, we have motion reduction. We're gonna turn that on as well. And then finally, we can jump into all accessibility settings. First one here, we can adjust the menu text size. I have mine set to large, but we can go even larger. There, that's the largest size we can do. Color customization, we'll come back to that. Parallax effect, I'm gonna turn that off. Subtitles is set to default. You can turn them all on, turn them all off. Feel free to set this however you would like if you're able to read subtitles. One nice thing is some of these customizable options let you put a nice high contrast background on your subtitles. So instead of having it transparent or semi-transparent, you can do a nice high contrast background, text background, to make it a little bit easier to see. Next, we'll jump into graphics. Now, field of view is going to be a personal preference. You see this little diagram here, the larger the number, the more field of view you will see, the more area of the room you'll see. The problem is that the larger the field of view, the smaller the enemies are gonna appear on screen. The smaller the field of view, the larger the enemies will be, but the less of your surroundings you'll see. So I recommend coming in here, playing around with it, set it to what you think it might be good for you, jump into a private game, test it out. You are able to adjust a lot of these settings while you're in the game, which is great. I need all the help I can get seeing my enemies, so I'm gonna set mine to a lower number, probably around 60 or 70. ADS field of view, ADS stands for aim down sight. Same basic idea here, if you want your enemies larger in the screen, then you're gonna want to set it to independent. If you want to be able to see more of your surroundings, you'll set it to affected. World motion blur, we are turning this off. As you can see in the example here, when motion blur is turned on and you're moving around, the world is blurry. For fully sighted people, that might be great, but I need that world, that environment, as clear as possible at all times, so I am turning that off. The same goes for weapon motion blur. As I'm moving around, I don't want anything in that image being blurry. In here we have other settings that I guess they're designed to make the game look more cinematic, but once again, it's just adding elements that make it harder for me to see, so I'm turning them all off. Film grain. If you look at the example here, you can see that the film grain adds kind of like a filter over the top of the image, and I don't need that. So I turn that all the way down, film grain all the way to zero. Next, we have depth of field, once again. Depth of field is turned on. It makes things kind of blurry, and I don't want that. I want everything super sharp. So we turn that off. Fidelity FX, this is some kind of technology that increases the sharpness of the image, and that is good in my opinion. So we turn that on. Fidelity FX Strength, you can play around with this. Once again, jump into a game and see how it looks bump up the strength, see if that makes things a little bit better for you. You can always adjust this. Next, let's head back up to color customization and we're going to jump into here. This is a great addition to Modern Warfare. This lets you customize the colors of your mini map. 
Now, for a lot of us, myself included, I can't see the mini-map. I'd never even look at it. But, if you are someone that utilizes the mini-map, you now have the ability to customize the colors on it. To do this, you can jump into here and pick one of these filters and then customize it how you would like. For world color intensity, I'd recommend setting this to a high number. I set it to 90. For interface color intensity, I've set this all the way up to 100. Now, here's where it really gets interesting. You can customize the colors of each element on your mini-map. Probably the most important I would recommend to adjust is the enemy color. And I would set this to a high contrast color. Since we're talking about the mini-map and the heads-up display, let's jump into those controls. Minimap shape, you have a circle or a square. I recommend the square because you're gonna have a larger field of view. You can choose whether the map will rotate or will be locked off in one position. Player names, you can choose how the player name is displayed above the character. If you're like me, you might need as much of the name floating above the head as possible so it really catches the eye. But if not, you can choose to shorten the name or to get rid of it altogether. Next, if you are playing this on a console or playing with a controller, we're going to jump into the controller tab and we're going to turn off controller vibration. Trust me guys, when we're playing this game and we're struggling, we're doing everything we can to see what's happening, we're also going to be focused heavily on our hearing. In fact, we're going to adjust some audio settings here in a second. But the last thing we need is for this controller vibrating like crazy in our hands, distracting us from those other senses. Next, we're going to jump into audio and play around with some of these settings. First is the audio mixer. Just choose whatever you are using. If you're using headphones, definitely choose that. Pick whatever makes sense for you in your situation. The key is to get the best audio possible because there's a lot of audio cues in this game like footsteps and gunfire. All of that information can help you find the enemies and help you get a better score in this game. And in order to hear all of those elements clearly, we need to adjust our music volume. I recommend turning it all the way down, all the way down to zero. I don't care about music during the game. <laughs> I want to hear footsteps. Next, we'll adjust the dialogue volume. It's kind of the same thing. I don't need to hear it super loud. Weapon. I do want to hear it, so maybe set it to 30, Weapon 35, Weapon. 40, Weapon. around there. Weapons have a Weapons have a Weapons have a chaos. Loud enough that I can hear, but not so loud that it's going to obscure or overpower all those important audio cues that I need to be able to hear. The other one is the hit marker sound. I don't need that set to 100. Put that down around the same as the dialogue. 30, 35, 40, something around there. One final note about graphics. If you are on a computer system, you will have extra settings in this section. You'll be able to adjust the quality of the graphics much more. So definitely go in there and poke around. Tweak those settings to work the best for you. Okay guys, those are some settings that I would change right away when playing Modern Warfare 2. Now, those were just some settings to help us see and hear the game better. There's a lot more options in those settings. So I recommend you dive deep into there, spend some time tweaking the settings here and there. And don't forget, you can jump into a private match. Test out those settings to find the ones that work the best for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please consider giving it a thumbs up. That helps out my channel. But that is it for this one, guys. This is Sam with The Blind Life. Have fun with this game, and I'll see you in the next one.